Hey y'all, so I was just um, jumping in real quick to say hey, I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. Um, also, to tell you how I feel about the Kanika Jenkins situation. Um, I do feel as though she was set up. I do feel as though um, it was the people that she grew up with all her life, her friends, the same people in the room. Um, I feel as though it was a jealousy thing. I also feel as though um, it was definitely a payment made. Um, cause you can hear it in the recordings. I myself have gone back like everyone else has and, um, reviewed the footage and found things. It's almost the same things everybody else is finding because that is my favorite thing to do. My co actually thinks I'm like obsessed. Um, it's just a lot that I really don't understand. Um, as far as like why I understand it's a jealousy thing. I understand it's a money thing, but $200 I can spend $200 in 15 minutes in any store given. Um, so I think that's the part that bothers me the most. Um, and then you also have to be able to stand for something. Like if you don't stand for something, you, you will let anything happen. Uh, I also feel as though the hotel is definitely hiding a lot of stuff. Um, it's because it's a liability. They've lied to the mom from day one. So I think that's just like why your parents always say don't start lying because once you start lying, you have to make up a lie to cover the lie, to cover that lie, to cover that lie. So I think the hotel is so far deep in it, they can't get out of it. Um, it's a liability. They don't want the hotel to be owned by Miss Jenkins, which should happen after they find out everything that happened to her daughter. Uh, I feel like it's a lot of sneakiness. I feel like, you know, she got a hook up at the hotel because that's where she worked or, you know, still works. Um, I feel like she knows about all the back ways. Um, I saw in the video once Kanika got off the elevator in the basement, which no one would ever hit B because nobody parked in B. No one walked through B. So why would she hit B? Drunk or not, some things are just unexplainable, especially when you're drunk. And that's one. I feel like when I'm drunk, it sounds crazy, but when I'm drunk, I overanalyze things, so I'm not going to hit B for basement when I, I parked on one or main. That sounds crazy. Um, I did watch in the video when um, she got off the elevator stumbling. The elevator opened up after that. And then after that, it closed and then opened up later on for the mother and the child. So um, I did some research and I heard everybody, you know, saying different things. And I looked at the videos showing that there is a back elevator that leads to, I guess, the employee entrance. So that just tells me that someone was already down there to set her up to put her on B, number one. Um, and then also, um, someone got off the elevator at the back entrance showing the elevator open. Because if it opened, why didn't anybody else get off? You know how when you bring kids on an elevator and they press all the buttons being obnoxious and simple? I feel like someone got on the elevator before her or said, hey, get off here. Oh, let me run back and get something press B to send her to B and then went where they wanted to go. And the person who was already ready for, I guess, the ultimate plan is the same person who got off on the rear side of the elevator because it didn't just open for no reason. It opened because someone called it. It opened because someone sent it there. Um, and I definitely have seen all the other footage where she's been pulled out of places and yanked back. So I do believe someone grabbed her back to guide her. I do feel like someone picked her up over their shoulder and took her out because even I said the same thing about the rectangles. Those are moving because someone is in that frame. So whoever it was doctored the footage, but they're not even a good person to have done it. If you want to hide stuff like that and you are a billion dollar or a million dollar hotel, you're supposed to hire a million dollar or a billion dollar person to hide that footage. Not the person who mops the floors because that's clearly what took place. Someone who is not up to par, doctored it, and didn't even doctor it good. So my heart, my condolences, everything goes out to Miss Jenkins. I don't know you personally, but I have children. I fear for my children. I fear for myself because the times have changed. A long time ago, you could trust the people that you hung around. A long time ago, you could trust the people that you're with to, to help you get to point A to point B. I myself have a lot of friends and I would never allow one of my friends to go looking for her keys or her phone or go to the car and wait here, don't move. She's drunk. You supposed to take her like those people do with the, uh, them stupid people who put their kids on the, uh, the leashes in the mall. That's how you're supposed to operate as if she has an invisible fucking leash on. You're supposed to drag her ass with you to here, to there, to get your keys, to get your phone and then not drive the car back to the mother's house. That all across the board tells me that she was definitely 
up to something. And then in the video, at one point she looks normal and her hair is laid. For her to be so dusty looking, her hair is laid in this picture, in the footage. And then later on, she's all disheveled. Her hair looked like she'd been sweating and running and out of energy and out of breath and out of air. It's so much about her that just rubs me the wrong way. And then in the footage from the basement, I saw the guy in the blue jacket with the hoodie. All along, she was set up. And it might have been because she was the prettiest. might have been because she's the smartest. might have been because of $200. Bitch, if you needed $200, I could have gave it to you. $200, you can spend so frivolously and easy. I just don't think that it's worth another life. And I do feel as though this was intentional because I've read some of their posts. I've even went on all their Facebook pages and Instagram pages like I'm the detective myself because I feel as though they're working, they're working way too slow. She needs answers, so do I. I feel as though it was a plan and a plot that initially may have started out as, I'll give you $200, she carried me, um, let me do something to her, as in, you know, mess with her or whatever, and I feel like it, it got too far. But I feel like once it got too far, you, if you were her real friend, even if you were her friend a little bit, you would have went to authorities and said, hey, this is what initially was trying was supposed to happen. It went too far. I didn't condone that part. They just owed me money. They told me they wanted to talk. I'm hearing that there was two rooms, and that's why you couldn't see some of the people on the footage. I'm hearing the second room is where she was actually raped in. So everyone has their opinion. This is just mine. Um... I, like I said, once again, my heart goes out to the family. I feel as though every last one of those three men in them stupid ass jackets, the blue, the silver, and the red should be arrested. The guy who did the footage from the beginning was asking for his cup. He knew exactly what he was doing. The stupid bitch in the white long sleeve shirt and everybody else is in belly shirts. I'm trying to figure out what the temperature was. I feel like that stupid bitch is the one who gave it to her when she said, oh, where's she at? I'm trying to get her a cup. For what? Get her a cup. She looks very functional to me. She looks like she has enough common sense to be able to get her own cup. And then I feel like he went looking for his cup for a reason. Because he knew it had evidence on it. I feel like all of those people knew what was going on except for her. So nowadays I need everyone to watch their family. Watch their friends. Don't trust anyone. You can't even trust the bitch you knew since elementary school clearly. So I just want everybody to... You know, send their prayers, condolences. Continue to investigate as I am too. We're not going to stop until someone solves it. Rest in peace.